just got off the phone with Jie. Have you checked your TV? For you either? I didn't see any glow or anything. It's definitely raining outside, though. Does this mean the Midnight Channel's off the air? I'm being serious here. Now that we beat that Amino Sagiri, the case is completely over, right? <laughs> awesome. Sorry, I didn't mean to hound you for an answer. I just felt nervous. But it's finally sinking in. All of us together. We did it! Man, all these things are coming back to me. Like, when I put you on the spot and asked you to be our leader? <laughs> what am I getting all worked up for? The others must all be super happy right now, too. I bet she is practically crying her eyes out. All right, I'll call you again later. Seriously, though. Thanks. Sorry. Whew. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuru Toshi, had already started, so I rushed out here. Sorry we're late. Hellos! I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. Ah, you're such a good bear. Me? It was 100% your fault. But I am sorry about making you wait. We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices! Talking about you, you little... Moving on! Hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? You doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Well then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? D don't tell me. Is this going to be some lame guys' night celebration? No lovely girls? Hell no! But man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. I wonder if they're all meeting up at Yukiko-senpai's house first. You know, like to put on their kimonos. K kimonos Did you hear that, S -S sensei Kimonos! Right, we don't know anything. Don't get all worked up for kimonos yet, Teddy. Kimonos! I might go into Kodiak arrest! Ugh, this guy. Although I must say, seeing Rizet in a kimono would be quite a sight. Oh, maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... I'm sorry about the wait. Sorry. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. Uh. Huh. Uh, 
What's with the non-reaction? What? Oh, where are your kimonos? Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. See, that's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Ow, my ears! You got your hopes up on your own. Don't take it out on us. A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. She wasn't implying. My heart just froze over. Um, shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day! I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Actually... I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah. All right, everyone, let's get going! <sighs> Staying still makes me cold. They're handing out Amazaki over there. Uh uh. Not till New Year's. Hey, how huh? long till next year? Uh. Oh. oh, it's almost time. <laughs> okay! Five, four, three, two, two one! one. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year, year both of you. Year partner. Thank you. <laughs> it's not your celebration. Nope, none for you, Rise. What? And the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing. Wow. Oh. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Oh. What? Hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> <laughs> Moranji! Shut up! The leading group has crossed the big show of bridge, and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Ah, there you are. All right, are we ready then? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you too, big bro! We'll probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. In any case, you've changed over this past year. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. I feel relieved since so much happened. <laughs> Looks like you got your personality from my sister. Dad, can we eat yet? All right, let's dig in. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks for the food! Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you.
Look at all the snow! Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? Hey! I want to make a snowman! A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. What about you, big bro? Nanako, don't get too worked up, all right? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Okay. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Uh-huh. Big bro, that's amazing! You get it so big. I'm a strong girl, though. I can hold a frying pan all by myself. All right, I think you two have done enough. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. Yeah? Just watch and learn. <laughs> You're not the master of snowmen in this house yet. There. Still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. We're gonna draw a face? Hey, big bro, I want it to look like Teddy. Can you make the face look like Teddy? It's a Teddy man! <laughs> it looks so cool! You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. Thanks, big bro. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. Aww, already? I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Okay, make it sweet for me.
here. Happy New Year! Snowflakes falling on your face. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year. Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Happy New Year!
Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do you have here? My, quite formal of you. I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Ah, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Marie has left this room. I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. I do not know everything. This room is tightly bound to your fate. My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers, and we always change. You may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. I do not know either. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you to her. I must warn you though, it may involve danger. What is your choice? Very well. Please give me some time. Once I am prepared, I will come for you. Please wait until then. Welcome back. Happy New Year! Oh wait, I already said that. I hope we get along this year, too! But I already said that! <laughs> Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Thank you for inviting me in! You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? There are a lot of mountains in the area, and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local, and the snow quality is supposed to be pretty good, too. What do you think? Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. They both said that they're free, too. So I'm going to start making serious plans for this. 
Yukiko is usually busy during this season, too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. Ooh, another overnight event. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Hey, Yosuke, do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak-in? Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. It ain't over till it's over! That doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. Skiing? Ah, you guys are here. Hello. I'm sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. Oh yeah, same to you. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. We should be back by the middle of the month. Are you going on a trip? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako was only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. But I'm all better! You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Don't worry, I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Well then, sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. Sensei, are you all alone at home again? I know! I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back! Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless! Now that's my sensei! You're agreeing just like that? Man, I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bare longings and some snacks. Man, he's out of our control. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. Well, I came to say goodbye. It's been fun. I'm sorry. 
don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. <sighs> Thank you. I'm so glad to have met you. So, let me end this while I'm still happy. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. Goodbye. Of course! Yo!
Are you gonna wish for something too? I see. That's so like you. I'm wishing for everyone's health. For Chie, for you, for the others, and everyone at the end, too. And I'm wishing to become a woman worthy of you. Finally, I wish for everyone to be able to smile together. Let's begin our prayer. I've decided not to leave Inaba. I never really objected to being the inn's manager per se. I just didn't like the fact that it wasn't up to me. I felt that my life was on rails. And I thought running away was the only choice for me. But no longer. I want to protect the family inn. After all, it's near to my heart. Um, thank you. I think it's because of you that I realized this. Because you were always by my side. Um, I wanted to ask you this before. Um, why? Why are you always with me? Is it okay for me to ask? I see. <sighs> yes, precisely. Oh, I just remembered. I have an errand to run. I'll be going now.
Senpai. Goodness. Oh, well, of course it is. Half the cooking was done by the head chef. He took over again. But he told me I've gotten a lot better. I'm also thinking of continuing my studies for a job license. I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I might as well. I'm glad I realized sooner. If I'd struck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I wanted to become completely self-sufficient. But I think I was being presumptuous. I have the inn. I have my family. I have the waitresses and chefs. I am who I am now because I was raised by such a kind group. When I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm going to stay here by my own will. from that shrine to protect you. Mm. I think of you as an irreplaceable friend. No matter how far apart we are, even if we never meet again, that feeling will never change. You're dear to me. known any boys who I could call close friends. I'm very happy. Let's talk, shall we?
well. Yo! Not like I have any other redeeming qualities. You're so nice to me. Thank you. Welcome home! I've been waiting for ever and ever for this day! Now, 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 come in, come in! Give me one of those, honey, I'm home! kisses oh don't be so shy smoochy smoochy come on please yeah! my pheromones are too powerful i came on too strong stop break cut 
What? It's all a mistake! Today's the day Nana-chan comes back, so I've been practicing hard to greet her. Oh, I know! Sensei, what does it mean to glomp somebody? I found that in one of Yosuke's books, and I'm pretty sure it's romantic. All right, I think I get it. I'll give it a shot. Hey, I've got a whole little show to go along with it. Let me show you. Nana-chan! ooh -hoo, You're a shining star! Come home well and well! Come home! Hey, I'm back. Am um, I interrupting you? Here too! Nanachan, you're all better! Easy there, Nanako. You don't want to get hurt again. Nah, uh The doctor said I'm all better! <sighs> well, she's been so strong this whole time. Who am I to argue? I owe you a lot for this, so I've gotten us a fancy dinner for tonight. Sushi, and it says premium on the package. That means it's super fancy. I call the Harami and Kohara. Okay, well, I was able to say hello to Nanachan, so I guess I'll be going now. You're going home already? Now that you're home, Sensei won't be lonely anymore, so... Plus, I'm not a family member. Sensei... So I can stay here? You're Big Bro's friend and my friend. Friends can stay here. Right, Dad? Don't worry about it. It's just sushi. We're celebrating today. Pops, I'm such a lucky bear. Wow, it's shinier than usual. Did cost a pretty penny. Mmm, yeah, that's good stuff. Mmm. Big bro, I love sushi. It's so good. Oh shoot. I forgot to ask them not to put wasabi on it. Here, Nanako, I'll scrape yours off. Which do you want? Maybe we should have split it into separate portions first. No! It's so good! So good! Thank you.